Good day and welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Anami and today I will be finishing my demo video series on Sumo. In my last video, video number four, we did the analysis and the meshing of this model. So today what we're going to look at is just the design links. To get to the design links on the left hand side, we can go to the design links workspace. So we have standard results and then our lastly our design links. Okay, and here at the top, you can see you have steel, strut, combine, you have your connections and then the concrete as well as your timber design links. For those of you who are familiar with frame, you would recognize these design links because um, they work basically the same as they would in frame analysis. Okay, so I'm just going to demonstrate a few of them. I'm, them, I'm not going to do all of them. So let's first start with, let's say combine. So I click on combine so you can see as i hover over it it says export the model export the model or selection of the model to make my design for combined stress so i click on combine and it's i want to i want to send this steel structure to my member design for combined stress module i select it and i press enter on my keyboard and and here you can see it opened my member design for combined stress model and it also brought through my members so here i can now do, do my design and checks for my steel members Okay, so that was member design for combined stress. Member design for axial stress works exactly the same. Okay, we can also do, let's do a beam column. So there I click on beam column. So the first one is select columns to export. So let's I'll select that column and then beam to export. Click on that beam and I press enter again. It will open my beam column moment connection steel module. Okay, and here you can see your sections were brought through. You can select a connection type and so on. I'm not going to go into detail for this, but you can then um, do your design for that connection. Okay, and then we get to our concrete modules. They also work very much the same. You select uh, you select a design link and then click on the, the element you want to send through. But what I do want to show is the design groups. So how design groups work is, as soon as you are done doing your your design and you save it, then it will automatically update the size back in Sumo. So let's demonstrate that. So I'm going to go to rectangular columns and then create a new one, call it the um, design group one. Let's say COL, COL. And then I'm going to place these columns in design group one. So I select all of them. And then here in the properties under design group, I'm going to just place them in design group one and then I can click on design and it will send my information through to my rectangular column design module. And let's say I change these columns to, I want, I, I see, okay, I actually, I actually need a 300 by 300 column. I change the size and I save this file. And as soon as I close it back into Sumo, it will ask me, do you want to search a section database for a section matching the design file dimensions? And I'll say yes. And it tells me, okay, 300 by 300 was found. Do you want to add it to the model? And I say yes. Okay, and as soon as I do that, you can see that it changed the color of these columns. And if I select them, you can see the properties. Uh, in the properties, the second slot is now a 300 by 300. And exactly this is the, so it's the same procedure that I did there. You can follow the same procedure for your bases as well by going to bases and then creating a design group and then designing them and saving the file and then updating that into Sumo. Okay, so that was just very short, just to show that Sumo does have the capability for you to use the design links that you had available in frame analysis. Okay, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, subscribe to our channel.